What do you need to do a ghost hunt? Holy Bar Podcast Show. Well, first you need a pen, paper, camera, flashlight, batteries, comfortable shoes, light jacket, audio recorder. You can use a voice app on your phone. First aid kit. While you're on a ghost hunt, record everything and everything that happens, including what you see and feel, both technically and how you feel. Write down all the observations, record any questions you ask. Keep the recorder going too. You might catch an electronic voice from one of them, which I believe to be distant be voice spirit voices. Digital recorder is a really basic good basic tool. Treatments are great because they generate white noise, which spirits speak within. To further explain voice per profundum. It can be broken down to three categories, A, B, and C. A is so unbelievably clear, you can easily make out the words. At the location, we're asking questions, and when asking something back, so many people in spirits have full, have full names to clear voices, actually responding to your questions. Really bizarre. Class B, the most common type of EPP, is usually heard during the audio playback. The audio is usually clear enough for the person listening, so they can easily make out that the ghost is saying. Class C is fairly common. You're unable to understand what the ghost or spirit is saying. It mostly like, sounds like an audible whispers or murmurs. Take as many photographs as you can, in case you caught your arms or any other phenomenon. Lastly, the most important thing, bring a first aid kit. If you're exploring or abandoned an isolated area, you must never... You never know what might happen. Don't go alone. Think safely and wisely. I highly recommend do not go on a hunt alone. If you're heading to a low traffic area and you have no idea what how dangerous it might be, it might happen. It's always best to have at least one of the other person with you. Can't find a friend who's interest? Try joining a group. Do your research before you go. So you've chosen location. Now what? Learn as much as possible locations possible, including the people and lives they've lived. Allows you to prepare any challenges you might face on the property, as well as those as well as who might potentially communicate when you get there. According to Ghost of Graveyard site, researching might also help you determine what time of day you can conduct your investigation. Here are five books we you can you, we I recommend if you're wishing to start off. The Ghost Hunter's Survival Guide Protection Techni- Techniques for Encounters with Paranormal by Michelle Bailinger. Ghosts and Haunting Ghost Haunting for Beginners. Everything you need to get started by Rich Newman. A Supernatural Book of Monsters, Spirits, Demons and Ghouls by Alex Ivan. Ghost Hunting. True Stories of Unexplained Phenomenon with Atlantic Paranormal Society by Jason Hawkins. Ghost Hunting Day Volume by 1 by T.M. Simmons. Don't just show up at a private property. Make sure you give them permission to be there because the last thing you want is to get caught trespassing. Know the signs when you get there. You're standing in a dark room. And what do you know? Is the spirit with you? The head starts to turn out of nowhere. Then it really gets hot or cold. You get this noisiness and feeling oh, it's like you're sick for every second. Science can be physical and affect your energy too. For instance, if you get touched by something that's not there, there's likely something paranormal happening. Now what to do is something bad happens. Let's say a spirit gets angry at you with you or a malevolent spirit tries to harm you. What do you do? To leave that problem, just talk to whoever they, you think it is there. You can communicate with many, whatever you can, be, whenever you may be in a room, and ask them to leave. Remember, they are people like us, and just in a different form. If you want to be friends, they, you can, but also be firm. Basically, be confident and own the space. Be cautious. If you believe spirits can follow you home, so what do you say? It's always best to be very. Take every ghost hunt seriously. This is 
a beginner's guide to ghost hunting. Ooh.